Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure brings us to Hollywood, California. Waiting across the street from me is a tour van. The company has sliced the top off, put some seats in it, and they're just gonna escort guests of this neck of the woods who want to see celebrity homes, the Hollywood sign, Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive, and who knows, whatever the heck else they have in store. Let's right over there. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? And even though there are a heck of a lot to choose from, dozens and dozens, I'm going with LosAngelesUSAtours.com. No real reason whatsoever on why I chose this particular one. It appealed to me for some reason. Heck it. It's happening. They got the front seat cleaned out for me. Front door open. They're going to let me ride shotgun. Now, I know I can see most of these places on my own accord, on my own time. Try something a little bit different. Have someone else kind of drive me around and guide me, if you will. We go to Mulholland. You can see the Hollywood sign as well as downtown LA. We're going to go down Rodeo Drive, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, Dr. Seuss in the Wicked Witch's House. This is Hocus Pocus. The little kids go nuts over that one, bro. What we do is we go Madonna, Tom Cruise, Ozzy Osbourne, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, Dr. Phil, Larry King, Orlando Bloom, George Clooney, Michael Jackson, Lindsay Lohan, and Lucio Ball. Kind of reminds me of a van I used to drive around. I could have done tours, come to think of it. Just waiting on a few more people to board before we depart. Maybe that passing by Superman, Chewbacca, or Jedi. Oh, looks like they, no, they're not down. They set up camp in front of the stop and go market. Don't want to run one of the vans with only a few passengers. So need a few more people to sign up before it hits the road. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Happy birthday, dear Shanae. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Holly, woo! So let's have one. Holly, woo! Okay, today we have celebrity homes, sightseeing, and landmarks. We're just going to make a quick circle around this block to see a few things in the way to Hollywood Science, 1949. And it was the favorite restaurant of Frank Sinatra. That's why you will see his picture here on the wall. For Pretty Woman, it was filmed in this hotel. You remember these balconies? and the parking lot of the largest open theater in Southern California, the Hollywood Bowl. The Hollywood Bowl built in 1919, start working 1923. Bands and celebrities performed it there, including Elvis Presley, The Beatles, Frank Sinatra, Kylie Minogue, Scorpions, Eagles, Miley Cyrus. The capacity of this theater is 17,376 seats. Uh, as you see the name, Mulholland Drive, that was the name of a movie for Naomi Watts. It's also the name of this road, and it was named after a water engineer. His name was William Mulholland. This is the one who planned the water, uh, the water grid in Los Angeles. 50 miles long for 80 kilometers, start from here, goes up. The more up we go, the wider the road is. The nicer the scenes are, where he established gated communities. A lot of celebrities choose to live in these gated communities to have more privacy. We're going to stop here for 10 minutes to take a picture uh, for the sign Hollywood and Los Angeles. Certainly a pretty epic view from up here. See the freeway, but you can also see the seats there of the Hollywood Bowl. That thing's huge. Right there in the side of the mountain. It's a little hazy today, but you can still see the skyline there in the fog slash smog. Nice. And turning around, looking in the opposite direction, there's that iconic sign. Dun dun dun. Da 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 dun dun dun. There's signage everywhere stating that you must have a permit in order to park one of these tour vans up here. If not, you will get a citation. Hollywood to Hollywood. <laughs> they, they arrested him not because he changed the sign but because he endangered himself. Later the city of Los Angeles built fence around the sign to prevent any 
21 hell. This is the house of J.D. Perry. This house on the left. He used to play soccer and now he's an actor. He was in a movie called Expendables. His name is Vanny Jones. Vanny Jones. The owner owns the limousine company called BLS. That company serves celebrities. He has connections with them and they filmed a movie in his house before for Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. The movie was Lethal Weapon. That house was blown up in the movie. Digitally, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we will shortly see here a nice view, the right, from Burbank, Studio City and Universal Studios, where most of the studios are located. This view is better in the night because the lights define it and make it more detailed. It's 420 foot elevated from the sea level, or 140 meters. The right, white house with orange roof and low boundary. That's the house of a former wrestler, current actor. His name is Dwayne Johnson, or The Rock. This house with the longest palm of the open there. You can catch grenades. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars, 1.4 Ontario. Uh, it's a white house here on the left. Rolls Royce and white McLaren. The McLaren is not here, so probably he's out. Oh, here it is. There is a pink house, the, br the bright pink house. This is the house of Jennifer Lopez. And if you look at my hand where I'm pointing, on the top of the mountain there are three houses on the right. White house with beige roof, beige house, and then white house with orange roof. The white house with the beige roof, that was her first house when she used to live with Mark Anthony. But she sold it for 15 million to a boxer from the Philippines. His name is Manny Pacquiao. Next to Manny Pacquiao, there is a beige house, that's Gwen Stefani. And next to Gwen Stefani, white house with orange roof, that's the house of Britney Spears. On the same hill in the middle, there is another white house, but a little bit bigger than uh, Britney Spears. White house with orange roof in the middle, that's the house of Samuel Jackson. And on the far left, there is a white house with glass fence. This is the largest house here, and it's the most expensive one. It's $55 million house. The owner did not buy it. She got it as a birthday present from the owner of Airbnb. Yeah. Her name is Kendall Jenner. This is the first day of Disneyland. The owner loves Disneyland and he bought the whole 10 letters for 38000 He bought one of the D. The D is here and the rest around his house. His name is John Stamos or Uncle Jess. First, we will see the gate or the entrance of the sun on the right. Thank you, Spears, Manny Macau, Kendall Jenner, Gwen Stefani, Jennifer Lopez, and Samuel Jackson. This is how they go to their home from the next gate on the right. The most eye-catching house here on the left, and this is the house of Denzel Washington. This house here. And above Denzel Washington, there is a house with orange roof surrounded by trees. That's the house of Sylvester Stallone. Skip the house after Sylvester Stallone. Go a little bit to your right. You'll see a dark gray house between the trees with four chimneys. This is the house of uh, Logan Paul. You know him, guys? Yeah. That's his house. And all the way on the top, there are three houses on the top of the mountain next to each other. They look like each other. Each one has two chimneys on the top. This is a father, son, and grandson. Russian billionaire. They call, they call him the king of the vodka. His name is Sergei Abramovich. And on the, <laughs> on, this is the new house of Paris Hilton. Oh. 
We will need to lift them shortly. You can see in front of us a big house. The house was the wall part of this mountain. On the left, you see a celebrity home. His mom lives with him. He's originally from Italy. His mom hear the noise of the van. She opened the window and she threw water on us. <laughs> His name is Leonardo DiCaprio. This white house on the top, on the very top. Very beautiful white house coming up on the left. The former owner died unfortunately in December 26, 2016 with cancer. Her mother died the following day with heart attack. That was her house. Her name was Princess Leia from Star Wars or okay, Carrie Fisher. That was her house. Last house above the mountain on the right. House looks like um, like Apple Store. Very modern design house. The owner is just a diva. mansion above the mountain. That's the mansion of Alfredo James Pacino or Al Pacino. Whereas that house used to belong to the state of California. The government used to own it and they used to give it as a courtesy residence to the governor. The last governor lived here was Schwarzenegger. California suffered financially during his time. They shrinked their budget. They sold the house to Italian businessman and fashion designer. His name is George Marciano. He's the owner of this house. Uh, the very next house also on the right, a long time ago, it used to belong to Ronald and Nancy Reagan. When he was an actor, they used to live together in this house. Two years after he became the president of the United States, they sold it to John Paul Newman. And John Paul Newman later sold the house to a producer. House number 1017. The first celebrity lived here was Kirk Douglas, the father of Michael Douglas. They filmed here two movies, Beverly Hillbilly and Get Shorty. The house was later sold to American businessman. His name is Ray Kroc. You know him, guys? McDonald's. McDonald's, the owner of McDonald's, and now one of his grandsons lives in the house. The very next house, also on the left, used to belong to action movie star. About five, seven years ago, he ran away to Russia. He doesn't want to come back because if he came back, he will spend the rest of his life in prison because he is convicted in 10 rape charges. His name is Steven Seagal. That was his house. It is the game. Rodney Sachs, the owner of Monster Energy. Right there on the bike? Yes, no. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 this, oh, I see. No, this is the gate of the big house that we saw. John Wayne. Here, the cowboy actor, and after this black car on the right, there is another house. The former owner of this house is a good friend of Obama. In August 3rd, 2012, I remember the date because I was stopped here and questioned by the CIA when I tried to get into that street. He told me, No, you cannot go here today because the president is visiting his friend George Clooney to tell him thank you for his support in his election campaign and to take a dinner with him. He, he cut the branches of these trees so Obama can land here with helicopter to visit his friend. And by the great car, another house, he made successful movies like Four Brothers, Shooter, Ted, and Lone Survivor. His name is Mark Wahlberg. Uh, we have two more houses here in this street. There is a huge house on the right and another house on the left corner. The one on the right is a celebrity scientist, former Harvard professor, and he is the inventor of the three dimensions. His name is Josh Green, or Joshua Green. Across from Joshua Green on the left, another celebrity used to live here. Most of my friends outside the United States, they don't recognize this lady. Uh, she had a red hair, used to wear a big hat and talks with her hands. 
You could see her in all the black and white TV shows, sometimes on postal stamps or in the Waxy museums. She made a famous show called I Love Lucy. Her name was Lucille Ball. And currently her daughter Lucy Arnaz lives in this house. If you look here, my friends, on the right corner, there is a fire hydrant, and that's in silver. That's only in Beverly Hills. In any other city, either yellow or red. Also, only in Beverly Hills, street names written on white backgrounds with black letters, the shield of Beverly Hills on top. The former owner surrounded with these Buddha statues to bring him luck and protection. He passed away, but his family still own the house. His name was Elvis Preston. You can see a little bit of the house from these holes in the keys. Across from Elvis, another celebrity used to rent this house on the left. The rent was $100,000 a month. The house that he used to own is in a village called Neverland. It's by the city of Santa Barbara, about 130 miles north of Beverly Hills. His name was Michael Jackson. That was his room where he died. It's his bedroom. He died in this room. The original owner of the house is also a celebrity. He used to make the roles of James Bond. His name was Sean Connery. Sean Connery uh, sold the house later to a French fashion designer. His name is Christian Odegier. Christian Odegier is the owner of Ed Hardy clothing. He couldn't do anything until he finished investigations of Michael Jackson's death. Later, he was able to sell the house to an investor and a shareholder from Bank of America. His name is Stephen Meyer. The funeral of Michael Jackson, you will remember uh, this game. This is where the people came to say goodbye, and this is where the ambulance came to pick him up. It was in front of this gate. <laughs> At the end of the road, there is a mansion. The former owner of this mansion sold it almost two years before he died. He sold it for $200 million, with one condition, that after he received the money, he has to stay in the house until he dies, then the new owner can move in. And that happened in September of 2017. His name was the Hefner, or the Playboy. This. The mansion is behind the trees above the hills. You can see it from here, guys, or you can see it from... He had another house above that hill on the left. He used to call it the body house. And this is where he used to store the girls. I don't know why that's funny. Yeah, the warehouse. The girls warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> you see stones on the corners of each gate and she put that in purpose like instead of writing her name she put something to represent her name oh yeah there's the stones And on the right corner, here by that red cone, there is a house. The owner of this house is not uh, is not a celebrity. Here it is. Let's see how big the house of uh, Sharon Stone. Uh, the owner of this house is not a celebrity. Actually, until 2011, he was homeless. Someone saw him, felt sorry for him. He gave him one dollar. He went to 7-Eleven store. He bought the lottery. He won $420 million. He's a very generous man. He donated half of this money to build other charity organizations to help uh, homeless people. Bill Gatsby lived 11 years only in the house. He sold it in 1997, which is one year after his son was shot and killed just before making the right turn into the drive. That's the house we are about to see. And immediately after the passage, you will see on the left side, uh, one of the signs of Beverly Hills. Here it is. And in front of us, Beverly Hills is Police could not find him or arrest. 
arrest him, so they asked other mafia members in the prison to shoot him and kill him in exchange for their pardon. And that happened in the house on the left corner after the stop sign. They climbed that balcony while he was eating and they shot him and killed him. His name was Bugsy Siegel. That house was a crime scene. In this part of Beverly Hills, the city code does not allow built fences over six feet in height around the homes. That's why you will see short fences or no fences at all. And that's why there is no privacy. That's why the third, this area did not attract a lot of celebrities. But some celebrities don't care about their privacy. And we have two of them here in this room. The first is after the stop sign on the left corner. A celebrity lawyer. He was defending O.G. Simpson and Michael Jackson. He's one of the defense team. His name is Robert Shapiro. This house on the left corner. See the gate here, it's a big house. Another celebrity also did not care much about his privacy. He used to live at the end of the road on the right. His name was Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss brought the Spanish architect from Spain to design the house. His name was Gaudi, the architect. Gaudi designed the house where there is no angles or corners. It's all circles, ovals, or curves. part of the drive, all the brand names, all the fashion designers are here. The store of Bijan, the one that needs an appointment to go to, and it's the most expensive store, is after the light on the left. And you'll see one of his exotic expensive cars, this yellow Rolls Royce. The car worth a lot more than its real value, because it is signed by his hand. That hand signature behind the front wheel worth a lot of money in the world of design. If you get a chance to walk here, guys, you will read these names on the windows. Those are his clients. You will read here George Bush, the son and the father, Barack Obama, Jimmy Carter, Vladimir Putin, Angela Merkel, Queen Elizabeth, Hugo Chavez. Those are his clients. In front of us, a famous hotel called the Beverly Wilshire. Other part of Pretty Woman took place in the balcony of the third floor. side of Beverly Hills and there is also a restroom. This is a celebrity restroom by the way. They arrested there uh, George Michael. And if you go to the right, which is east, 2,162 miles, it will take us to Chicago, Illinois. This is actually Route 66. They call it Santa Monica Boulevard within the limits of Los Angeles County. Beyond those county limits, it is Route 66. Here is the bathroom and Beverly Hills sign, the big sign is here. This means, guys, we are in the center of the city of Beverly Hills. Let's take 10 minutes and get back. It is good that the driver stops on occasion to stretch your legs and see some of the sights up close and personal style. And a little bathroom pit stop. Never hurt anyone. Sometimes it's required. Everyone loading back up, ready to take off once again. This is the Civic Center, the City Hall, and the Police Department of Beverly Hills. They filmed here two movies, Beverly Hills Cop and Rush Hour 2. 
it's a luxury police department. They don't have jail cells, but they have jail suites. <laughs> this is Live Nation. And this is the uh, Lake White uh, corporate office. Try to read this sign, guys. Brown sign here on the right by the underneath the street name, Mabel Drive. See that sign? The brown sign? That road 66. This area here called Sunset Strip. It's part of West Hollywood, but it's different. It has beautiful nightlife. It has a lot of activities. Shops, restaurants, clubs, bars, studios, agencies, and frequent place for celebrities. Anything here has a relationship with celebrity, it either becomes famous, expensive, or it gains more value. Like the liquor store on the left court here called Gail Turner's, it became famous after Halle Berry drove her car into that door, which was drunk. It was four in the morning, she left her car stuck into the door, she ran. Police later discovered that was her car and started dealing with her. Famous bar called Rainbow, where musicians, rock musicians especially, hang out after they finish performing. And they perform here as well. Table number 16 in this bar witnessed the last half hour of John Belushi's life after he took his last dose of drugs. Roxy Club is a famous club as well, frequent place for musicians and frequent place for celebrities. Jim Morrison and Elvis Presley were the first to perform in this club, Whiskey Ago. The wood building called Southern Ranch, frequent place for celebrities, including Obama. Obama always orders order number eight from the menu whenever he visits this restaurant. Another famous restaurant, the yellow train car called Carnies Express, the favorite of Elvis Presley. And this is where he gave his car as a tip to the waitress who was his big family. Especially young ones, he used to stay in this hotel until they bought their homes. Miley Cyrus, Jonas Brothers, Orlando Bloom, they all stayed here until they bought their homes. Chateau Mormont. Also, Jennifer Aniston, every man she dated, she used to take him to a restaurant, to a restaurant here at the bottom floor. Comedians like Ben Stiller, Jim Carrey, and Eddie Murphy learned it and performed there. Maybe the names on the wall here are future famous comedians. They have other two locations, one in Long Beach, California, and the third one in Las Vegas. The top floor of the building is the office of Steve Spielberg. His house is not far from here. It's on the top of the mountain on the left. And they filmed two movies in his house, Charles Angels and Iron Man. Celebrities usually stay in the hotel during any event, like Oscar, Grammy, or Academy Award. Room number 928 of this hotel is haunted by Marilyn Monroe's spirit, because she spent a lot of time in this room. And you can read more about this if you go to the lobby of the hotel. And after Jimmy Kimmel, El Capitan Theater, known also as Walt Disney Theater because they play here Walt Disney shows. Please remain seated until we make the same stop so we can open the door. Please do not forget to pick up your cell phones, cameras, or any personal items. And thank you so much for your That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future adventures I will be going on endeavors in my life as well as uploads here on this channel if you enjoyed this particular episode give it a big thumbs up it lets me know you care i'll see you in the next video now let me just show you the setup of this real quick like i have the front shotgun seat but this is what it's like from the back angle pretty cool much more fun than i expected it to be it was kind of nice just being along for the ride I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.